Handling data, comparing line graphs. What is it? A way of sorting data according to different features. Why? Can help show trends and make predictions. Interesting fact, cheetahs cannot climb trees and have poor night vision. So let's take a look on the steps on how to do this. So step one, draw the same key information. Step two, compare the first graph to the second graph. And you must have numbers for both graphs in your sentence. So let's take a look at the graphs. You have, on the left, you have height of tree one, and on the right, you have height of tree two. So what are we doing here? We're comparing the two charts. And how do you compare? I remember compare is the same items. And then so how do you do it? Well, if it doesn't specify in the question, you get to choose. So I think sometimes you just got to pick whatever you're in this particular case, pick your favorite month. So we're going to talk about month one to month one. And then sometimes uh, there's another option. You can pick the height you want to choose and, and uh, so you, you can say when it reached 80 centimeters or 40. We'll make sure when you do it that you compare the same one for, for, the, for the left one as the same one as the one on the right. So let's go ahead and discuss uh, month one to month one. So now we're going to draw the key information. So we've now highlighted the area that we're looking for. So on month one for the, for the and now we need to find the height for each month. So in tree one, it is 12 centimeters. And in tree two, it is about 32 centimeters. So now we're going to go ahead and write the sentences for each one. So you can use compared. You can use uh, more than or less than or even same as. But uh, So let's go ahead and write it out. So the growth of tree one after month one was 12 centimeters compared to 32 centimeters in tree two. Now if you don't like compared or uh, so using the word that compared then you can use a different one for instance tree 2 was 32 centimeters tall after one month which is 20 centimeters taller than tree 1 so you can use that uh, as well so those are the final answers for those for that example so let's take a look at when it reached 80 centimeters so now we're going to go ahead and draw the key information on the graph and when did it reach 80 centimeters for tree one? And then when did it reach 80 centimeters for tree two? Now we're going to go ahead and write that out. And and, and on the left it is at month five, and on the on the right it is at month four. So let's take a look at a sentence you could write: Tree one took five months to reach 80 centimeters, and you, while tree took two four uh, to four months. And there you go. So now it, uh, it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can answer these questions at your own pace. And uh, so I'm going to show you the answers in three, two, and one. Here are the answers. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, uh, there's always tomorrow. But remember, there's a, it can always be a little bit different. So make, just make sure that, uh, that it is something similar so, uh, to, to the ones that are you see on your screen.